Okay, just a quick video on how to set up Quizlet once you've got your way into the classes. So as part of joining, you'll get these three invitation emails and you'll click accept invitation. This will launch in a browser window. You may have to log into your new Quizlet account and then there'll be an accept button there to accept the offer to join the three classes. There's this class, which is the OCC reviews. There's this one, which is 737 systems. And then there's this one, which is manuals, limits, memory items, all sorts of crap. So if we pop and have a look at Quizlet, this is one, what you see when you get in. Uh, there's a couple of notifications there. I'll just see what they are. And that's just telling me that I've accepted those three classes. So that's good. And you can see that it's a bit of a messy interface and the ads at the bottom are a pain, but you have to pay to get rid of those. But the, the fully free, the free function, the free version is fully functional. Um, the questions are stored in what's called sets and you can see sets across here. So for example, here's a set on 737 silk air differences. Here's a set on scratch pad messages in the FMC. Here's a set on uh, reviewing the ILS GLS precision monitor radar subject. Um, but all of those sets come in three classes, so if you scroll up, you'll find the classes. And these are the three classes I've built. So the systems one is here, and in the systems one you can see questions on various things and reviews on various things. And basically I built these as I worked through the CBT. So for example, I would uh, be going through fire protection and I would build, build what I think was useful cards on various sections of the CBT. And you can see um, that some of the cards have images, some of the cards just have text. Uh, and I'll run you through how to do that. But that's a review, a system review on fire protection. But in here also should be questions on fire protection. And this was a set of database I found on the web <clears throat> from Boeing of questions. So they're set up as multi-choice. So the, the, the front shows you the question and the four options. And then the answer shows you uh, when you flick it, shows you the correct option and you can go back and forth. So it's 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 a, a way of reviewing questions. And that's all that's in this particular class is just systems related stuff. Okay, so then moving on to what I call OCC. And this is just a conglomeration of all of the other areas of study that you're required to do as part of the type rating. So ILS, GLS, TCAS, EDTO, RNPAR, Low vis takeoff, etc., etc., etc. Where you see, and these are basically so. For example, if we look at narrow runways, there is basically just summary information of the stuff that uh, I wrote down when I made notes on the narrow runway presentation, and it's just f functions as a quick review. Okay, so that's the OCC, and then finally in the class four manuals, limits, memory items, you'll see that there's a conglomeration. There's a list of all the current bulletins, the a summary of the COVID OIC, silk aircraft differences. These, by the way, appear to be sorted in a weird order. If we sort them, what does this do? Does it add set? No, that doesn't sort. Okay, they're on, a, on the website, you can actually sort them, but they're just appearing in the order that I built them or updated them. But for example, here's QRH memory items, and you can see in this set, on the front, it says cabin altitude warning or rapid depressurization. On the back of the card, it has the text that is, and it also has an image of the QRH um, memory item section for that checklist. Okay, so having shown you the scope of the content, let's now have a look at how to set up in order to do them. So something useful, let's have a look at FCOM limitations. So I'll go into the, so remember I'm in a class at the moment, a class which contains a group of sets. I go into the set for FCOM limitations, which is, okay, now I've lost it. Uh, hang on, limitations, limitations, limitations. This is really, how, oh, there we go. Right, so um, you can see that you can just look at the card here and then move across and look at the card here. And that's kind of like a preview. This is not the way it's meant to work. If you scroll up like this, you can see basically all of the content, the, the question and the answer all the way through. But the way you test yourself is you use these, this flashcard option here. So I'll hit flashcard. Now, what it's giving me here is the answer. And that's not useful. And unfortunately, that just seems to be the way Quizlet is set up. Either I've created the cards 180 degree out of order but then you can't put images in the right place. This is the way, unfortunately, it has to be. So the first time you open a set, if you see the answer instead of the question, you need to reverse that. So what you do is you go, settings, I wanna see the term. 
At this point, it's worth deciding whether you want to see them in the order that I created them or whether you want to see them in a random order. Now, for limitations, I would probably suggest let's see those in a random order. If, for example, you were doing the system review, which would generally start at, say, the beginning of the hydraulic system and then work its way in through complexity on the way up, then I would suggest turning shuffle off for that one. But for something like limitations, shuffle makes sense. Um, if you're learning the A1 for the first time, then you could whiz through my Quizlet in the order that stuff shows up, and that makes a lot more sense. But if you're just trying to get a random review of the A1, then you could put it on shuffle. Play audio can be useful if you want um, the audio of the text on screen to be read out loud. I don't find that useful, but you never know. And the thing to remember here is restart flashcards at the bottom there, resets all your learning history. So let's do that. Okay, maximum tailwind for takeoff and landing. Do I know that? It is 15 knots for takeoff and landing. Now the question is, is, do I know that? Well, yes, I do. Do I think I need to see that again the next time I come back here? Actually, I don't. So I know that one. Flap limitation for auto land. Okay, well, what, do I know that one? Uh, all engine flap 31 engine. Oh, I forgot about the engine out. Okay, I'm going to keep that one for next time. I'm going to drag that over here. Maximum speed VMO. Do I know that one? Yes, I do. I know that one. Limitation on I know that one. Don't do it. Yep, good. Maximum takeoff weight for the 700. Why would I want to know that? Anyway, okay, look, I probably should get those in my head, so I'm still learning. So as you can see, I now have this set of cards in three groups. I have the still learning, which means I'm definitely going to see those again next time I come back. I have the cards I know, which means I'm not going to see those again unless I restart. And then I see the cards I haven't seen. So if I come out of here and go back and do this again, what I'm now looking at is the two cards that I haven't that I've said I want to see again and the well, what that looks like about 55 odd cards that I haven't seen yet and they will all come that those two together will come up in a random order and in that way it allows you to whittle a set down into just the cards that you're still learning or, or haven't seen yet and you can work your way through to the end and as you start to find you're, you're coming in each time and seeing the same cards over and over again it's because you're still seeing the still learning cards over and over again and it may be time to swipe those into no when you come in there and there's no cards you can walk away for a while, but next time you come back, you'll restart your progress and have another go. Okay, and that's basically it in terms of setting up the cards. So if we go and look at a different type of set, ah, silk air differences, for example, and run flashcards. And once again, it's giving me the answer, not the question. So I've got to go in here and I've got to say this, and, and there's no real logic to this, so I'm going to put this on shuffle and restart. VHF open frequency protection, <clears throat> Okay, so the radios in the Silk Air aircraft have the time out of 35 seconds. Okay, that's cool. And away we go. Um, finally, and I don't know if... Uh, go away. And I don't know if I can do it here, but you can... On the website, you can build what's called a folder. So we try doing a plus, create a folder... I'll call it current study, and then into that folder I'll add sets. Now what I can do is I can pick whichever of these that I want to currently work through. So let's say what I'm doing now is I'm really focusing on the FCOM. So what I want is I want the limitations. Uh, I want QRH maneuvers and memory items. Well, standard calls would actually be good too. And, uh, and away we go, and that'll do for now. Now, because I've built my own little folder here, I can now study this folder as flashcards. Now what I'm getting is the 197 cards across those multiple sets. And I'm dragging them left, I'm dragging them right, and working my way through those 197 cards across multiple sets. So this is a good way that if you want to spread your learning across different areas rather than kind of hitting the A1, hitting the A1, and then having to manually change to something else. So you can get, you can basically do quizlets across a wide, a wide range. Except, of course, once again, back to term, and I want to see the random. Okay, off we go. And that's Quizlet. Um, if anybody has any questions, don't hesitate to drop me a line or give me a call. And obviously, if you have corrections, if you see, bring up a card, uh, and you notice that there's something wrong on that card, then feel free to just take a screenshot 
and basically say, uh, yeah, if you could learn how to spell temperature, and then you can just share that and send it off to my Gmail address. Like so. And then I'll fix the card. Um, if you think I'm, I'm still building the library, so if you think if there's a subject that uh, you think it would be good for me to add to the library, then please open suggestions up, send me uh, suggestions. All right, I think I'm going back to bed. This flu is kicking my ass. All right, have a good day.